I've got a Whitman coin folder here and it says half crowns collection 1941 to date. They're in circulated condition. Uh, it says 1941 to date. It says here copyright 1967 by Don Hirshhorn Limited, Newcastle upon Tyne. And it was made in the USA by the Western Publishing Company. And we can tell it's 1967 because I've got no mintage figure for that. This one's a proof, 1970. That was never circulated. I can't even remember where I got that from. Yeah, as I said, they're in circulated condition. Um, some of them, look how loose they are. Look how loose. Just spins around. There's no grip whatsoever. That one, yeah, another one there as well. Uh, this one's uh, the best. Let's have a close look at that. 1942, and that design is by George Kruger Gray. Wouldn't it be nice if all coin designs were still like that? Fantastic. It's not uncirculated. You can see a little bit of wear on the king's hair there, but I would say that's in extremely fine condition. I'll put that back in there. And you can see a coin with almost no wear on it. It's still spinning around in there. Look at that. Terrible. And it looks like a previous owner of this folder has even put some double-sided or some glue down there to try and keep them in. But I can assure you that wasn't me. Yeah, look, you can see at the back there. <laughs> Look at loose, another loose one. Look at that. I did make a video a while ago about how to stop coins falling out of Whitman folders, and that was to add a little bit of distilled or ionized water around the edge of the cutout, around the edge of the circle. It made the cardboard swell slightly, and when it dried, it stayed like that, and the coins wouldn't fall out because it expanded a little bit. And I was using this deionized water, got it from Halfords. But I think on this one, I need to try something a bit more radical because I don't think that would work. Right, if I close this up, just turn it around like that, open it. Look at that, half of them falling out. Some of them are still loose. Oops. Don't do that, I'll get told off. Okay, that's got those all out of there. I'll just show you this one. This is a later one, a 1965, and that design is by Edgar Fuller and Cecil Thomas. You can just see their initials at the bottom there, each side of the shield, EF and CT. Uh, yeah, another great design. And the obverse is the first design of the Queen by Mary Gillick. Now you can see all the little marks there where someone has stuck that in. Probably used glue or, or blue tack or something. What I'm about to do next, do not try at home. Do not do this at home. It could completely ruin your Whitman album, <laughs> but I'm willing to take the risk. Okay, I've got this tray here, completely new, completely clean. No, I'm joking, it is absolutely clean. Okay, I'm gonna get my Whitman album and I'm gonna just put that first page in there like that. Do not try this at home, I'll keep warning you. And just to make sure it doesn't fall over, there's my paperweight. Coin Patrol. 2021 I got this from Master Temple. Tat video. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you want to see Dan's tat video and where he actually made this, I'll put a link below in the description. But we need to put that there. So I've got my deionized water here. Don't use tap water, too many minerals. Yep, I am going to do this, so if you can't bear to watch, switch the video off now. I'm going to top this tray up. It completely covers. Right. Make sure it's completely covered. Okay, and I'm going to just make sure it's covered there. So it's all even. Just going to leave that for about a minute. Pause the video. Okay, that's about a minute gone by. I will let that drain. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this at room temperature for a few days to completely dry. And then I'll be back. Okay then, here we are, three days later. Right, for two days, I left it hanging over the table like that, just at room temperature, so that it would thoroughly dry. Uh, then I got this heavy book, 
Treasures of Britain. It's getting on a bit this. I've had this a few years. Um, what date was that? 1968. Anyway, that's irrelevant. So I put that down there. Heavy weight on there. And I've got this tub of 1936 pennies. That's really heavy. And I left that on there for another 24 hours just to make sure that it wouldn't warp. So let's have a close inspection. Doesn't seem to have done it any damage there at all. It hasn't swollen up. That's what I was worried that it would do. Obviously you want it to swell a little bit. But just a fraction of a millimetre to make those holes smaller. Probably a little bit of a mark in the corner there. That was probably there before though. Doesn't look it's done too much damage there. Right, okay then. Here we go, the moment of truth. Okay, let's start with the obverse. And that, that felt snug. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, first one worked all right. Right, 1941. Oh, yes, that felt good. 1942, though, this one was loose, even though in that condition it was still loose. Let's try it. Oh, did you see that? Can you feel that? Can You, you can't feel it, can you, obviously, but that... It's very snug in there. Let's turn it over, give it a tap. Look at that! Brilliant! Okay, let's put the rest in then. 43. Yep, that felt good. 44. Yep. 45, yes. 46. That really felt tight, that one. 47, yes. 48. 49. 1950. And the 1951. Lovely. I think I'm going to call that a success. Let's just flip it over. Oh, don't think any came out then, did they? No, look at that. And the one that I said was quite tight was this one. So press it in the back and it still pops out quite easily. No problem at all there. Now, I know some people are saying that I shouldn't be touching coins without gloves on. But the feel of a coin is a massive part of coin collecting for me. Any coin that I can't touch without wearing gloves, I'm not really interested in. And there they are. Look at that. Okay, let's turn it upside down. Give it a tap. Look at that. It's even worked better than I thought it would. That's fantastic. I can't see any damage to that at all. The ink has not smudged or anything. Wow, that worked for me. If you try it, let me know if it works for you. But it's just an experiment. If it goes wrong, don't blame me. <laughs> I suppose I'm going to try it on these two sheets now. There are some Whitman folders that have the opposite problem. You can't get them in. They're, to they're so tight. And the three pence is notorious for that. That is so tight. You can't push it in. This 1954 hole is just too small. It just, whatever you do, it won't go in. So I don't know how you resolve that. Anybody got any ideas? Please subscribe to the channel and click that like button and I will love you forever. <laughs> if you have the same problem and your coins fall out of the Whitman albums and you do try this method, let me know you get on. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. And now I'm going to try these two sheets.